for the Minnesota Twins today. The team signing their 2023 first round draft pick Walker Jenkins this afternoon. As sports director Jim Rich is live at Target Field for us and he has the man of the hour. Jimmy. Yeah, you bet, Amy. This is the guy that the Twins wanted in this year's draft, and they signed him just this afternoon before the deadline. Walker Jenkins joins us now, and he's smiling, and I think there's a pretty good reason why you're smiling. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm here. I finally got all the business side of it out of the way, and I'm here with a great organization and, and ready to start my career. So, All right. He's just 18, okay? 18, and look at they all have to work with. What is it, 6'3", it says you are? Yes, and. Uh, I mean, how did you grow so quickly? Your mom and dad stand over there. They're not uh, your height and size. I think some of it's just I was blessed genetically and then a lot of hard work, sir. So I've, I've worked hard in the weight room, you know, in the off season. And some of it, I think, is just God given. So, all right. So when was it that you decided that Major League Baseball was a possibility, right? Every little kid when he's six says, oh, I'm going to play Major League Baseball. Yes, but was there a point where you thought, all right, I'm doing pretty well at this? I'd say going into high school, I started to get a, a decent amount of college attention and you know, some big D1 schools. And I was like, this is a real possibility for me. This isn't just a dream. This is turning into a reality. So I'd say freshman year of high school is when I started to realize, you know, that my dream could turn into a reality. Yeah, this is, he's a two-time player of the year in his home state in the Carolinas and then you went to Team USA and you earned the nickname Captain America. <laughs> now that's that's pretty high praise. How did that come about? I honestly don't know. I just remember one specific instance. I was riding in the elevator with some of the coaches and they're like, dude, you're like Captain America, man. And I think it's just the way I play the game, the, the type of person I am, the way I go about things, I think it just reminded him of Captain America, so that's what they started calling me. Well, I think it, it fits. It fits. Now, you know some twins that came through the organization, right? Yes, LaTroy Hawkins, yes, Michael Kadire. Uh, explain your relationship with those guys, because LaTroy had been very vocal that the twins should get you if they could. So, with the USA, you know, staff, they, they coached me the last two years. You know, LaTroy, Cuddy, Coach Denny Hawking, and Mr. Coach Doug, and so I, I was able to build a relationship with all those guys. And you know, they obviously they can't control where I went or what I, what happened, sure. but they were just extremely good role models for me, and you know, kind of walked the path for me and helped teach me a little bit of, of the way a, a pro baseball player goes about it. So it, you know, it was a great learning curve for me, and it's just been great role models. All right. Has it sank in yet? When you were in that clubhouse looking around, there's Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton. You're here standing on the turf of Target Field. Has it hit you now that you're a part of this organization? No, I'm still a little kid at heart. I'm just out here. I'm just excited to be playing baseball and just get to it. So. All right. Well, Walker, thank you so much for doing this. Yes, really sir. appreciate it. Congratulations. You. Uh, you got some cash to spend. Everybody's probably asking what you're going to spend it on, right? Food. I like to eat, so <laughs> yes, sir. All right. I guess he's uh do you have room at your table tonight? Would you like a companion? No, good to know yeah, the media. Yeah. You got you got any good food joints? Yeah. I'll take care of us. I'll even take you to one that doesn't have a speaker. How about that? We won't we won't even yes, hit sir. Taco Bell. We'll go to a good one. All right. All right, this is him. He's uh, the future of the franchise, and hopefully he'll be playing here at Target Field real soon, and maybe we'll have dinner sometime. We'll see. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. You let him know how much you love to eat, though, Jimmy. And also, I think we need to, live, we need to live stream this outing when it happens, Jimmy. <laughs> so we need to see Walker and Jimmy okay. in right. the town. All Welcome. right. Thanks, sure. guys.